let's make this super moist carrot cake with cream cheese frosting topped with pecans first thing is that in one bowl you want to mix all of your dry ingredients two cups of all-purpose flour two teaspoons of baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda one half teaspoon of salt mix it all up then two teaspoons of ground cinnamon one fourth teaspoon ground nutmeg one fourth teaspoon ground ginger mix 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 it all up in a separate bowl you take one cup of sugar three fourths cup of light brown sugar get rid of any clumps now you want three cups of finely grated carrots make sure to wash them and then here i am grating them with a cheese grater now i am making this cake infused if you know what i mean but you don't have to make it infused so you take three fourths cup of unrefined coconut oil whether you choose to infuse the oil or not that is up to you so add that three-fourths cup of coconut oil to your sugars and then give it a good mix. And then here you see me adding a little tincture for an extra razzle-dazzle. Again, I'm infusing this if you know what I mean. This cake was for a client and it is extra potent. You will need four eggs. I like to separate them in a bowl first and whisk them up before I add them to the rest of my ingredients. Take those four eggs and add them to your sugar mix. Add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Once again, give that a good mix. Now you will add one half cup of unsweetened applesauce. Mix, mix, mix. Make sure there's no brown sugar clumps. I'm going in with the electric mixer just to help me a little with that. Now you take all of your dry ingredients and you mix them into your wet ingredients. And this is going to be your cake batter, so make sure that you give it a good mix. Now take those three cups of finely grated carrots. Once your batter is all mixed up, then you're going to add the grated carrots. You can simply mix it with a spatula. Look at how beautiful this cake batter is. I chose to bake this in a heart-shaped mold, but you can use any cake mold. I took half of the batter and filled up half of the heart. I baked at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. I'm doing a two-layer cake. I took the first layer of the cake out of the mold and once again filled half of the heart mold with cake batter. While the second layer was baking, I started my cream cheese frosting for the cake. For the frosting, you need eight ounces of cream cheese, partially softened but still firm, one half cup of unsalted butter, softened nearly to room temp, two and a half to three and one half cups of powdered sugar, depending on how sweet you like it. Then add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So first you cream together the cream cheese and the butter until smooth and slightly fluffy. Then you add the powdered sugar. Mix this all up, use the electric mixer after using the spatula just to make sure you get any clumps out of the frosting. You add the powdered sugar and the vanilla and mix on low speed until combined. Then increase the speed to high and whip for a few minutes until light and fluffy. Transfer the frosting to the freezer and freeze for three minutes. Remove and mix with mixer just briefly. You want to repeat this process up to two more times until the frosting is more firm. But you don't want the frosting to be clumpy and not too cold, but firm enough to frost and not be running. This may take practice. To be honest, this was my very first cake experience. This was the first time infusing a cake and the very first time icing a cake. So I am no professional, but as you can see, I tried my best. And because it did have pecans, it kind of covered some of my mistakes. But all in all, I think it came out pretty good despite this being my very first cake. I had some leftover batter and frosting, so I made some cupcakes, so I can say that the taste was pretty amazing. To finish this off, you do want to crush up some pecans and then just top the cake off with it. And there you have it, a very moist, delicious carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. Let me know if you give this recipe a try, it's pretty easy, though it is a little time consuming. I had a lot of fun baking it and frosting it, and I hope you do too.